Hi there, it's Cindy Summer here to talk more about our Narcissism series. So going back to the three phases of what it's like to be in a narcissistic relationship and generally speaking the romantic narcissistic relationship, although this certainly happens in families, um, with friends, and even in workplace situations. Um, in a romantic narcissistic relationship, there's the three stages. There's the love bombing stage, which is by far the most um, fun stage if there's such a thing in a narcissistic relationship because um, there's, there's a lot of um, stimulation, there's a lot of attention, there's a lot of um, excitement, you know, um, and, and it feels like a whirlwind. It does. It feels like a whirlwind. But then when we get to the devaluation stage, it becomes more like a roller coaster where you, you notice that there's ups and there's downs and there's a good chance there starts to become a lot more downs. And that's when the narcissist becomes critical, when the narcissist becomes perhaps cruel when the narcissist becomes uh, disrespectful, mean, um, cutting, you know, whether it's to you, whether it's to somebody or something that you love, that it could cut apart you personally, it could be a loved one, a family member, it could be your home, it could be your job, it could be anything that you value. They will look to um, push your buttons, um, and it's meant to hurt. Don't think that it's not. It's meant to hurt. Now, the third stage is the discard stage. That's when they generally throw you out like a piece of garbage, like a dirty towel, okay? And this can come in many different forms. So because you've been discarded, it does not necessarily mean that you're not in the relationship anymore. So, it could come, it could show up or surface something like that person had an affair with somebody. That's a discard, okay? Being cheated on in any way. Um, and even if it's not um, a full-fledged physical thing, you know, it could be um, something that's just as inappropriate or, or close to it, like a first cousin, you know? Um, and, and I'll, I'll save that content for your imagination, but it doesn't have to be full blown, but it's, it's a betrayal, okay? So that is a discard, that's a discard. Um, perhaps they made a huge life change without taking you into consideration. Um, and maybe, maybe they talked to you about it, but maybe they really didn't care what you think because they had made the decision. Uh, maybe they took a job that took them out of the country, um, across the country. Maybe, um, maybe, maybe they joined um, an organization where they're going to be gone for six months. Um, and, and you thought that you were in this loving relationship where you were committed. You know, either you were on the verge of getting married. Um, you thought everything was going well, and then all of a sudden the rug gets pulled out from under you, and now you're left like a piece of trash on the side of the, of the street, and you don't know what hit you. You don't know what you've done wrong. You don't know if you said or did something that spurned this behavior. Um, uh, and they may or may not bring you in to like following them, you know, now if it, if it was a, if it was a, an affair of sorts, well, they might just um, diminish it and say, oh, it was nothing. Actually, there's a good chance that they'll never admit it, even if you have full blown proof, full blown proof. Um, they may not admit it no matter what. Um, and they still will probably call you insecure or paranoid um, or jealous envious, you name it, they'll gaslight you, they'll turn the tables. Um, whether they took a job 
um, in another state, in another country, and you know, and, and they didn't break up with you, but you were expected to drop your life and join them, no matter what your circumstance, that's a discard. That's a discard. Um, it's a terrible blow to somebody. It's, um, it, it, it turns your world upside down and it makes you wonder, did I even know this person? What happened? It, it makes you second guess yourself. It's a truly terrible place to be in. Um, now, why, why do they do that? Well, now, if they discarded you because they found new narcissistic supply, and don't forget, that's something that they do that's not beneath them, so maybe they, they did have an affair. Well, they've got new narcissistic supply um, and if they have that new supply, well, they don't need you anymore. Your last season's, you know, fashion, okay? You're now old. You're not interesting anymore. You're not dynamic. You're not stimulating. The new person is, okay? So you could be fully discarded in that they leave the relationship. So yes, that can and it does happen. Um, I don't know that there's statistics on it, but I've... I've heard it, it could be 50-50 whether you leave the relationship or whether the, the narcissist does. So it could be full-blown discard. They left, they're done, you're left stunned. Um, I've seen that happen to, to many of my clients and they don't know what happened. Um, especially if the relationship, especially if they were trying 100%, you know, giving it their all. And they're like, I, I, I paid attention to him, you know, I, I gave everything I could to, to my wife, you know, um, attention, love, respect, um, you know, I waited on so-and-so hand and foot, I did everything, you know, um, it, it leaves people blindsided. So the discard can be the full-blown see you bye, and you don't know what hit you. Well, that if they do the see you bye and the relationship has ended completely and it's on their terms, it's, it's because they have new narcissistic supply. Be sure. So that means that during the relationship, they were looking for your replacement, okay? Um, and they might have been messing around well before you even caught wind of it. There's a good chance that you knew something was going on though, but you probably second-guessed yourself. So. I always tell my clients, make sure you trust your gut, okay? Even if it doesn't necessarily seem logical, if it feels off, it probably is, okay? Very important to trust yourself. But again, the discard can also be the, they had an affair, but they still want to be married to you, they still want you in the relationship, and you know, there's a 95% chance they'll never admit to having one, okay? They will lie. They will lie and they will lie some more because um, narcissists are pathological liars um, and there's a lot of shame involved because don't forget, they, they truly hate themselves. Um, so they're not gonna admit to any fault. They can't, they can't afford that. They can't afford to feel any worse than what they already are, okay? Um, now, that is, that is what can happen. Now, you can be the one to do the discard, okay? If you have addressed things over and over again, and over and over, ad nauseum, and it doesn't change, or it doesn't change with consistency. So it's one thing to be on good behavior for a week or two. That doesn't count. It needs to be consistent change. If you don't see the consistent change, and if you have enough things that are gone, that have gone wrong with this relationship, and you decide that you're done, you have my congratulations, you have my total respect, and I'm going to tell you, don't look back. Don't look back, okay? And there's a lot more that comes after this. It's not just the decision to walk away. That's huge, yes. But there's a lot more that comes after that. So, so make sure you make a big list 
of cons. You know, like we say pros and cons list for, for somebody, you make that list. And that cons list, I'm willing to bet, is pretty long. So refer to that if you feel weak at any time, okay? Now, there's a lot more to the phases that come after the, the three stages, um, but know that, um, know that this is just for today's discussion is the discard. Um, now, for those of you that have either been discarded or did the discarding yourself, I have found that those people suffer from PTSD, okay? They literally suffer from post-traumatic stress syndrome because the relationship was such a roller coaster that it did something to them physiologically, okay? And again, that's for another, that's for another discussion, but, but know that, that that is normal for this kind of relationship. Um, but there's help, you don't have to suffer forever, okay? Um, and if you were the one that was discarded, you know, um, you now know what the red flags look like, okay? And even if you were the one that did the, did the discarding, regardless, you now have experience. Think about that. You have experience. And if they beat you to the punch, then they beat you to the punch. Is Did they win anything? No. They're always the loser. They're always the loser because this is how they live. So it's not just with you, it's going to be with the next one and the next one and the next one. This is how they live their adult lives. And they might have been narcissistic children too. So um, you can have compassion once you've healed, once you look back and say, okay, that's too bad, that's too bad. Um, but, um, self-preservation. I go back to self-preservation. I go back to self-respect. If you don't love you, who's going to? Okay? So, stay strong. Continue listening to these videos. I want to empower you. I want to educate you. I would love it if you would please subscribe to this channel. Like it if you did. Share it. Um, if you're interested in a session with me, I am a trained psychic medium, okay? And that word is a little bit redundant, but um, yes, I speak to dead people. Um, yes, Holy Spirit comes through. Um, I tap into whatever's most important for you. And I can see you in person at my office here in Cleveland. I can see you on FaceTime or Zoom, or we could just have a phone session, that's fine. You don't have to see me at all. I don't need to see you. Energy is energy. We do half hour sessions, I do one hour sessions, um, and I do reading parties too, sometimes we make it fun, we do little get togethers. So at any rate, um, to, to book, go ahead and go to cindysummer.com, click the book now button, you can shoot me an email if you've got questions or if you wanna have some sort of reading party, that's all fine and it's, it's good. So anyway, stay safe, stay strong, and I'll see you later.